John Hartley here with you, and today I want to show you real quick how to use Sublime Text to Snippets. And to do that, I will grab some of this Bacon Ipsum uh, to use just as filler, and will replace older, you know, on, on my website that I'm going to be creating. Open up Sublime Text 2, and first I'll save this, just basic .html. And now I'll show you the power of snippets. So HTML S, and I hit tab, and boom. I have my structure for my HTML layout. And uh, that to me is pretty sweet. And just to add another one, a list, boom. Uh, form, start, oh, I guess that's not it. It's just form. And so these are snippets that I've created. And what you do is you go to Tools and down to New Snippet. And this is the, the content that it automatically pulls up. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Hello, dollar sign, this is a snippet. And I'm going to paste that in there. Just make sure that you keep everything between the C data and the open and close brackets. And then down here, Uncomment Tab Trigger and give it a nice tab trigger that you're going to remember so bacon so when you save you are saving it to the user packages uh, so users your username library application support sublime text to packages and user uh, when, when I first started saving snippets, it automatically sent me here. So I, I don't know if it'll do the same for you, but hopefully it will so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to save this as bacon ipsum dot sublime snippet. And that's the key is you need to save it as dot sublime snippet. Anything can be in front, but you need that dot sublime snippet at the end for it to work. So I'll go ahead and save that. Come back to my basic file. I'll create a paragraph, and inside of my paragraph, I'll type bacon, hit tab, and see, I've actually already saved uh, a different version. So, there we go. Just to show you, I'll switch that to ham. And I'll get rid of this, type ham, hit tab, and there we go. Again, all of our content is loading in. Sublime Text 2 Snippets, one of the best tools that I have in my arsenal because it makes me a lot faster. So go ahead, try it out, and see if you can come up with the same result. If you can't, let me know, and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Hope that helps you out a bit. Till next time, I'm John Hartley. Thanks for watching.